The Miscellaneous Components section of System Setup contains several pages of setup options for AMS TAC. From here, you can tell AMS TAC where to store different types of data, turn certain menus off and on, enter DODAX, fix system problems, or even set up an archive. In order to make changes to this section, you must first log in as an administrator. The first section is Miscellaneous Drive Path Settings. This section lists the location of various data paths. These data paths tell AMS TAC where to save data. It's important to take a look at this section so that you understand where data is being saved on your system. To begin, select System, Setup, Miscellaneous Drive Path Settings. The OMC Drive field tells AMS TAC the location of the OMC Reader Writer. If you use an optical memory card Reader Writer, you would typically select the L drive. You may also change the path by clicking on the folder icon to the right of the field. You may use the folder icon to change a path location anytime you see one next to a field. You may also type the path into the field, but most people find it easier to point to it using the folder icon. If this machine is mapped to another AMS TAC machine, and you use the confirmation delivery order function, you may set the CDO drive to the primary by checking the box. This will tell AMS TAC to store your data on the primary machine, but you will be able to see the data on your secondary machine. Check with your AMS TAC administrator for more details. The confirmed delivery path should already be configured for CDO, but you may change the field if needed. The backup restore path designates the location of files used during the backup and restore functions. It is important to remember that if you are backing up data to your local hard drive, it is not recoverable if your hard drive fails. Some users prefer to backup data to external media or a network drive. Please speak to your local IT department to discuss your options. The next field allows you to hold data that has been downloaded from your BCR for a number of days. This data is saved on your hard drive in case you need to recall it later. You may click the Auto Run BCR at Startup box if you would like the BCR program to automatically run when you start AMS. This can be helpful if you use barcode readers frequently. The Copy Drive function designates the drive used for the Export, Transfer to File, and Import Data functions. This function is not widely used, but you may change it if needed. When you are finished, click the Save to Disk button. The next section is Environment. This section lets you set up menu options in AMS TAC and determine the type of warehouse operations that you run. This could be helpful for warehouses with unique operations. Most of these options are not widely used. Please click F1 on the environment screen to learn more about these options. The next section allows you to enter DODAX, transfer points, and site codes. Note that the pass-through table is no longer used in AMS. To begin, select Address Tables. Click on DODAC Table. This option is used to filter relevant data from OMCs and RF tags and provides the framework for tally sheet and packing list generation. To add a DODAC, click on Add Activity. Enter the DODAC and address information for each consignee. When you are finished, click Save. If the supply activity has another Mark IV DODAC, click on Add Mark IV. Enter the Mark IV DODAC and click Save. From the DODAC table screen, you can find and edit other DODACs. You can also remove DODACs if needed. You can set the DODAC to write OMCs, pass-through, or ASL-NSL. Some of these options are not widely used. Use the Print button if you wish to print off a DODAC report showing a list of all supply activities. When you are finished, click Exit. Next, select Transfer Point Table. This function is used to maintain a list of receiving transfer points and stow locations for your site. The transfer point is the location where you receive cargo. This is normally the warehouse. The stow location is where the gear is stowed for pickup or short-term storage. This could be on the receiving floor, in a numbered bin, or in a parking lot for larger gear. To add transfer points, click on Add Transfer Point. Input the transfer point and stow location. When you are finished, click Save. On the transfer point screen, you can choose to add just the stow location. You can also find, change, delete, and print existing transfer points and stow locations. When you are finished, click Exit. Next, select Site Code Table. This option is used to filter data by DODAX. Input a site code DODAC and then click Save. On the Site Code screen, you can also find, change, delete, and print existing site codes. When you are finished, click Exit. After entering all address table information, click the Save to Disk button. The next section is for Report Setup. 
This allows you to set up the parameters for generating reports, such as how many copies you'd like to have each time. Most of these options are not widely used. For more detailed information on the various fields, please click F1 on the Report Setup screen to learn more. The next section is Administrative Support. This section allows you to reorganize your databases if they get corrupted. Please note that secondary AMS machines should not be in use when you perform these functions. Please see your AMS administrator before you attempt to reorganize your database. The next section is Archive Setup. If your site processes a large amount of data and it is slowing your system down, then you may decide to archive older data. Note that this is not necessary for every site. If you do need to archive data, please see our archive video from the data menu for more details. Now that you have finished setting up your miscellaneous components for AMS TAC, you may view our other system setup videos for more information.